is a Tuesday morning here in Berlin, Germany, and I'm gearing up to get on yet another bus. I'm taking a short bus ride this morning to Czech Republic. I'm going to Prague. I figured, well, since I'm here, I should probably take advantage of the proximity thing. Let the food spotting in Prague begin. We'll travel for, we'll travel for vegan food. Yeah. never been on a bus like that okay they were serving tea coffee cappuccino you could get a local newspaper in english or czech i think they had two drivers that switched halfway through which is smart and safe and they had a woman who was working as like a kind of like reminded me of like a flight attendant and she was handing out the waters and drinks and things and it was the nicest uh, bus ride I've ever been on. The only thing they didn't have, which of course everyone was asking about, is, say it with me, Wi-Fi. They didn't have Wi-Fi, but it was good. I got some video editing done, closed my eyes for a few minutes. Hope I'm going the right way. I'm meeting a very kind woman named Hannah. I'd never met her before because I decided a week ago that I was gonna try to come to Prague when I realized how close it is to Berlin. The connection happened when I posted something to Facebook about looking for a place to stay. So now I just have to find her. Hi! Hi! Good to meet you! It's a bit rainy. Hi! <laughs> this is the lovely person who agreed to let me sleep on her in our couch for bedroom came from the bus terminal to a restaurant because you know that's my first priority is food of course um and there's some really beautiful buildings around despite the raininess is around three euro, you said? Two euro, two. Two, yeah. two or three? Yeah. Hannah and I both got soy slices with red pepper sauce and mashed potatoes. And I also got a cappuccino. That's pretty good. Yeah. You were saying that it's actually like a pretty good representation of traditional Czech food. Yeah, yeah, like with sort of like starchy sauce, meaty. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's good, I guess. Yeah. I was feeling a bit hungry. Currently, 2,000 Czech crown is about 100 USD. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> everyone it is my second day in Prague Czech Republic I arrived yesterday afternoon and as you saw I spent some time with my host Hannah we went to a couple of places and then I did a lot a live 
stream on Facebook for my publisher and now I have one full day to myself. We'll see what we find today. Vegan thing, that's cool. Have you all heard of that church in the church in Czech Republic that is made of human bones? I am on a mission to go find that place today. I've taken a couple trains and now I am at the bus station. I'm just waiting to get on. I hope that I've done this right and figuring out how to get to get there. I think it's like an hour or so from the city proper. neighborhood following Google Maps to try to find the Church of Bones and finally after, I don't know, 25 minutes of wandering, finally saw a sign for it. I was surprised that there weren't more signs around the town. I thought it would have been like a pretty big tourist attraction. But anyway, so glad to finally know that I'm headed in the right direction. I'm really excited to see this place. Amazing. Successful arrival at the church. Now I've got to figure out how to get back. Rumor has there's, oh, there's a van on the sidewalk suddenly. <laughs> uh, rumor has that there's a train get back to Prague, which is hopefully going to be much faster than the bus out to that church back there. Let's get back to Prague and get some dinner. Alright, finally getting closer to the vegan restaurant uh, for dinner tonight. I'm going to a place called Vegan's Prague. They clearly know their, tar their target marker there. Oh man, I'm so hungry. It's been a bit of a long day. A good day, but a bit long. And also the, the neighborhood that I'm in now, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's like pretty fancy, super nice buildings. I mean, just look, it's like really nice. dinner at the previous vegan restaurant was good. Not quite filling, so I ended up coming to a loving hut. So time for dinner number two. <laughs> Morning everyone! It is my last day in Prague. I'm a little confused though because it looks like this, but I suspect that it will actually taste a bit eggy maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and this is a porridge uh, with some chocolate banana pancake.
This hot chocolate is basically just, look how tiny, right? But, <laughs> it's just like melted pure chocolate pretty much. It's literally hot So, so intense. Want the predator to give you a Thai massage? That's an option. One of the oldest stone bridges in the whole of Europe. I think it might even be the oldest one. It was built in the 1300s by a guy that's over there, Charles IV, who was a very enlightened king of Bohemia at that time. And uh, this is the place of an old bridge that was taken by a flood, so they built this one. And the legend says that they actually used egg yolks uh, in the mortar to make it uh, to make it stink. Really? <laughs> so this is not a vegan bridge. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm on not eating it. So that's true. <laughs> wow! Look at this view. yesterday because I was so hungry and I ordered the feast meal and it was not quite feasty. So we'll see how, how this one goes. close and catching my bus. I have about 15 minutes to take the train and and then find my bus. Oh my goodness, I just ran and I just made it. You have to see number 15, okay? All right guys, I made it back to Berlin and now I'm just waiting for my train back to my flat. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little getaway to Prague. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to eat well and travel often.